Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. Today I have for you my September update for 50 Shades of Purple. This is in collab with the Fantastic Ladies over on Facebook. It is 50 items, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, so the first item here on my list is my LA Girl Shockwave Lip Liner in, I think this one is Blaze. So my goal is to finish this, um, but you know, very slow going. I might have to update my, um, my goal because it's a pretty lofty goal for me. Um, uh, but I am using it, so that's what counts. Um, next I have my Winky Lux Kitten from the Kitten Palette Strut. I did depot this, um, a couple months ago, I think. Um, but this is what it is looking like. There's a nice dip forming, but these are pretty hard pressed and um, they take a while. So I imagine this will be here for the majority of the project, but it's okay. I like to use that kind of like as a transition, like, and like cleanup shade too. Um, so that one's going. Um, I finally started using my Bumble and Bumble um, conditioner. I marked it uh, in my intro, but I just weighed it, so I'll mark it right now after I finish. Um, but in the intro, it was 159.2 grams, and today it's 149.3. So I used almost 10 grams um, in the span of this month. I think it's been a couple weeks. No, no, no. I've only used it a, a handful of times. Um, so that one is like newly reintroduced to my, um, my routine, um, but I am working on that now, which is exciting. Next, I have my Cactus Facial Spray. I have it, um, depotted in this small purple bottle. Last time, I don't know if I had finished it already or not, but I said I was just gonna put the rest of it in here. So when I did that, I weighed, um... Okay, so it was 16 grams empty bottle and then I weighed it and it was 65.3 and today it's 43.3. I think this will be done by the end of the month, but if it's not, um, it'll be definitely done by next update. I really like that. I think it's really nice and refreshing. I put that, I let it like kind of melt on my face and then I go in with a like more locking in setting spray. <laughs> um, next, my Herbivore Botanicals Retinol Alternative. This is still getting the big old FU <laughs> from me, um, but it's going, It's. I feel like it's a little below half or like exact half. Um, I'm trying to hold it up straight. So I did finish off the other one I was alternating this with, but I am still only using it every other night. Um, I suck at doing my nighttime skincare routine. I know that's terrible, but that's where we are. Um, we'll see. We'll see if this next month is better for this product. Um, I like it. I don't know if it's doing anything for my skin. I mean, I'm not being very consistent with it, but my progresses are pretty consistent. So, <laughs> um, yep, there's that one. Uh, next, okay, so that one was 115.7, now it's 111.6. So I am using it. Next, the Color Wild Razor Root. Last time it was 130.4, today it's 126.9. Um, barely any movement, but I wanted to mark it nonetheless. Um, I've been using this less because I do feel like it makes my hair like a little crunchy. Um, maybe I just put too much, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I do like it. I do think it's effective. I just, um, I need to put less, I guess. Um, but yeah, this one's going. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys any of the palettes, I don't think. I'm gonna show you one, I think. Um, See the Maybelline Blue Mascara. Last time it was 19.4. Today it is 19. Um, so I just kind of swirled the wand around so you guys can see. I'm still getting product. I have it on my lower lash line today. I don't know if you can tell. Well, peanuts mad. Sorry if you hear him barking. But yeah, less is coming on the wand. And I actually did already buy a replacement. 
for this because I don't want to be without a blue mascara now. I love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, so there's that one. It went down 0.4, so I try and use it as often as I can. Um, next, uh, the Lawless Palette. Okay, it was 95.2 last time. It's 95.1 now. Sorry if you hear my air conditioning, and I'm sorry if you hear peanut. Um, so I'm working on mainly this one. Let me see. There's kind of a little dip developing there. Yeah. Oops. So yeah, you can kind of see a dip. So I am working on it. I am neglecting, I feel like, all the other um, eyeshadow palettes. I just, I don't know. I feel like when I do my looks, everything kind of just ends up looking the same on the eye. So I just kind of gravitate towards the same ones. But I will get more use, I promise. <laughs> um, next is Winky Lux Frosty. It weighs the same at 10 grams, but I do use this pretty often. I like to use this. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell. There's a little dip forming. Um, I do have this in my inner corner today. Yeah, this one's pretty, it's pretty pigmented. Um, and I like to use it like to highlight my brow bone but sometimes it's a little too much for that um but like it works just fine as an inner corner so or i'm sure i can use it as an all over lid shade too my goal is to finish this one too so i have a long way to go but i enjoy it i like the formula um next next thing i want to show you guys is the cella Right, Cella Cream, the Violet Soothing Hand and Body Butter. Um, last time, oh, I haven't, I haven't showed you guys weight progress <laughs> since the intro, but it was 83.6 and today it's 65.6. Um, I think the reason for that is because it was in my purse and I probably just never brought it out. <laughs> but yep, about a a fourth, fourth one. I like it. It smells nice. It doesn't leave my hands feeling like greasy or anything like that but it's it's nice i like it the scent is okay too um okay my eva nyc satin smoothing leave-in cream was 181 last time it's 176.5 now we can't see through the packaging but i have a long long way to go with this one <sighs> let's see oh i forgot to I forgot to weigh this one and count usage, but it's very exciting. Um, this is my L'Oreal. It's um, in the shade Amethyst Quartz. I want to use this 50 times, and it's about halfway already. It is a little lower than um, what's kind of clinging to the side. Let me look real quick. So last time I was at 23, and today I am at 26. I feel like I used it more than that, but I must have not counted it. So we're sitting at 26. I This might be gone by the 50. And I'll be a little sad because I really do like this. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So I have about uh, 24 more uses to go. So I'm just below that halfway mark. But I really, really like that one. Um, so that's been kind of like really easy to just grab and, and throw on. But I feel like I'm missing counts, but we're going to stay with 26. Um, doo -doo -doo. Next, the Wet n Wild Petal Poison Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick uh, went from 29.3 to 29.2. I do kind of reach for this often. Um, it's this one here. I don't. Like if I swirl it, oh, you can kind of see a window, but that's what it looks like. Um, I think my goal is to finish this. Yeah, my goal is to finish this. Um, if I swirl it around, you can see like a window. Like you can see here, probably not. There you go, because of the reflection. But I mean, I have this in my purse almost all the time. And when I'm out, like I kind of reapply it like a lip balm or you know it's just my lip color for the day or i'll top it with like another lipstick i'm wearing but i do like that one it's really nice it's more of like an more of an opaque gloss i don't think it's a liquid lipstick but i like it i think the color is really pretty huh. let 
let me see maybe i am gonna show you guys my palette since they're right next to me abh buon fresco okay this one right here you can kind of see a dip not not really but i'm working on this one now too in another project so maybe i will get more use out of both i actually this is my favorite shade in the palette um so yeah yeah <laughs> i kind of use it the same as i use this so it's kind of either this one or that one um oh and actually i'm just gonna show you guys my nomad palette because it's what i have on my eyes today um so she looking like this i haven't worn it very many times but i am wearing these two shades today it just goes really fast um but yep there's that one <laughs> i didn't weigh it or anything um let's see um i have usage on these i think it's 25 times i have used let me see let's see what it looks like still looks pretty untouched <laughs> um let's see i wasn't planning on showing you guys this that's why i'm like scrambling okay so so far i've used the blush seven times this month and the highlight four um so i'm at seven with the highlight and nine uh with the blush so i still have a ways to go um about a third of the way there um but that's all right it i feel like i'm gonna get a ton more use of that in like october november december probably november december because it's still very hot here and it's not fall yet it's not we're not there yet uh the tart make believe yourself i actually depotted this um into this pan but i feel like I ruined the shade because it didn't repress very well and it's very crumbly uh, when I try and like dig my finger in there not dig my finger but when I try and get product and put it on my eyes which I'm really upset about because this is such a pretty shade and you know Tarte long discontinued that palette but I'm going to work with what I have. Um, I really do want to get as much use out of this as I can. Um, so that's what this one is looking like. That one is fairy. So right now it's weighing uh, two grams even. Okay, next is the Maybelline setting spray. Last time it was 81.1 today it is 65.2 i'm sorry my vision is getting so bad <laughs> okay so i was here last time and i'm here now not ton of progress but it feels really light it feels really light um so maybe depending on how much i do my makeup um this might be gone next month i'm not sure but it feels super light but i i know i marked it right because i put it up to the light um okay next Oh, that's it. Okay. So, I do have a fair bit of empties, which I'm really excited about because it's always nice to get products out because I just joined another project and then I might do another one. So, you know, the less I have to work on, the better. <laughs> um, so, I did finish off the Andalou Naturals Shampoo. That was in my empties and I finished off the conditioner um, so that will be in my empties this month. Um, there's like a little bit left but it won't come out so I'm good <laughs> with calling it done. Next I finished the toner which I kind of expected that I would and I do have another one but I'm taking I'm kind of like playing around with other toners I have right now but I will come back to this um, soon. Um, next i finished off my lotion i'm not gonna cut this open i feel like it just gets really messy and i can't get any more out i'm comfortable calling this one done um it was fine i don't think it really helped me with like sleep or to relax or anything like that but it's a nice lotion um bath and body works uh body creams are my favorite so 
I love the formula, but this one was nice. Can I see? Change the color. <laughs> uh, this one was nice, but it's done. And then um, I'm about done with these, the Derma E Ferulic Acid Resurfacing Pads. I have four, four left. So these will be gone this month, but I just wanted to call them good because I don't want to have to like hold on to this. But yep, I have four left. Um, so these are almost done. Not my favorite. I really don't like the way they smell, to be honest. But my most exciting empty is going to be my Buxom. I dug out a little bit. Um, this one is in Dolly Dreamer. It's the, their full force. Um, I really like this color. That was beautiful. Let me see if I can get a... Get a I'm just stabbing myself with the top. But... I don't know. Maybe I can scrape this out and use it as a cream blush. But I don't think so because it's pretty slippery on the lips. But I really, really enjoyed that color. I thought it was beautiful. Um, I know they're going to be 21 Days of Beauty, um, half off $10. Um, but I cannot buy anything right now. So uh, it's just going to have to wait for me. And I know I like it. So I'll revisit it in the future for sure it's a beautiful color the formula is okay it's not very long lasting but the color is it's where it's at for me so i finished off one two three four five six items that's pretty cool so i have let me see 30 to go which i feel like i'm doing pretty good we're five months five months four months four months into the project and um of course I'm getting all my beauty items out first but that's okay um I feel like as long as I am working on something and making progress that's really all that matters to me I'm very sorry about my boy all right thank you guys so much for watching I know I'm a little light I'm trying out this tinted balm again but it's it's pretty light so but I needed to film this so it's fine. It's fine. All right. Thank you guys. See you in my next one.